The next update of the production program of Chrysler, Jeep's off-road division, took place in 2006. Two crossovers appeared in the model line at once, Patriot and Compass. However, the Jeep Patriot compact crossover began to be delivered to Russia under the name Liberty. This happened due to the fact that UAZ has already secured the right to use the Patriot name for its model. For the Americans, this turn was the occasion for another wave of bewilderment. The fact is that the SUV, which was sold in Russia and the Old World as Cherokee, was originally called Liberty in its homeland. So it turned out that, on the one hand, Liberty is Cherokee, and on the other hand, Liberty is Patriot, but, of course, not UAZ. Confusion, in a word. The design of the Jeep Liberty is also a tricky subject. Both crossovers, both our hero and compass, are built on the GS-JS platform, which was jointly developed by Daimler Chrysler and Mitsubishi Motors back in the early 2000s. After the collapse of this union in 2004, Chrysler slightly modified the scheme and gave the project its own JX index. A number of models have been released on this platform, the most famous of which are the first-generation Mitsubishi Lancer and Outlander. Citroën C4 C Crosser and Dodge Avenger. Japanese, at one time were real bestsellers, quite reliable and hardy. As for the Jeep crossovers of the 2006 model year, they, alas, did not gain much popularity. For example, if the Liberty slash Cherokee KJ sold 133,000 in 2006, then the Patriot slash Liberty sold only 40,000 in 2008. And this despite the fact that the Patriot turned out to be the most affordable Jeep in almost the entire modern history of the brand. But such are the paradoxical laws of the market. It is interesting that the malfunctions characteristic of the Outlander, with some exceptions, are also typical of the Liberty. The first thing that Jeep Liberty suffers from in Russian operation is the suspension and front bumper. With the geometry of the crossover, it's not too good anyway, and the protruding lower lip does not at all allow you to move over rough terrain without loss. The bumper, by the way, is inexpensive, which is typical for Americans in general. Sold in a single unit with a false radiator grill, 7,500 rubles. But replacing it, even just removing it, is painful and time-consuming. And, interestingly, different bumpers are put on the European Liberty and the American Patriot. And let's note this fact, some parts of the engine, Chassis and transmission in the Mitsubishi catalogs cost almost a quarter less than those of Chrysler slash Mopar. Such distortions in prices, however, are more than offset by the more expensive service of the Japanese. One way or another, the Jeep Liberty suspension, especially the rear multi-link, did not please the owners from the very beginning. She and the Outlander could not withstand more than 100,000 kilometers of run. Most often, the silent blocks of the lower levers suffer which are changed as an assembly, in a pair, 20,000 rubles. Along with work, Handicraft's men got the hang of installing silent blocks separately, which reduced the cost of repairs by a factor of three, but deprived them of guarantees of reliability. In addition, it was sometimes very difficult to find a spare part for a Jeep. Official services were just starting to work in the Russian Federation in full force and there was no single warehouse for the entire range of products yet. It is better to replace suspension parts in a complex way, new shock absorbers, 7,000 rubles each. Prepare, stabilizer bushings, 400 rubles each. And be sure to shake the ball joints and inspect the steering rack, another serious headache for the Jeep owner. Tips fly for 1,200 rubles, the rail itself and oil seals, which regularly flow in frost, in general, everything except perhaps the pump. The rail assembly costs about 29,000 rubles and the front suspension arm assembly with the ball, about 20,000 rubles. Four engines and four boxes were installed on Jeep crossovers. Petrol, 2.0, and 2.4 liter in line, 4, developed jointly with Mitsubishi and Hyundai. Diesel, 2.2 liter OM651 from Daimler, 2.0 liter from VW and only for Europe. Transmissions, two mechanical, from Magna and Eisen 5, and 6 speed, the latter were installed only on diesel. There were also two automatics, the classic 6-speed six 6F24, six developed by Hyundai, and the Jacko CVT with an incredible gear ratio at the bottom, 19, 1. With careful handling, all boxes, including the continuously variable, behave perfectly and take care of 100,000 kilometers without repair. The variator, by the way, is not afraid of off-road, is equipped with a special lock and manual switching mode. Unfortunately, 
the trail-rated edition package prepared for off-road was not delivered to Russia, ground clearance increased by 20 millimeters, which the standard one had was not bad, 205 millimeters, standard steel underbody protection, wheels with an inch larger diameter, more powerful system cooling the engine and transmission. This is not counting the stickers, overlays, and all sorts of other fun amenities. I rode one in North American Moab and was more than impressed. The geometry is better than the Cherokee. The ability to crawl over rough terrain is not worse than the new Grand Cherokee. Excellent protection and a low price for the USA. We missed this car. Alas, it can only be brought from America or Canada. As for engines, 99% of crossovers on the secondary market are equipped with a 2.4-liter world engine, exactly the same as on the Outlander. The generator is also at risk, the brushes of which may fail even after 50,000 runs through dust and dirt. Replacement will cost 20,000 rubles, repairs, 10,000. The motor is relatively omnivorous, but it is better to install candles from a reputable manufacturer. Consumables with equal success fit both original and proven non-original ones, prices do not differ too much. It is also important to keep an eye on the air filter. The consumption of a 2.4-liter engine in the city is already not small, reaching 16 liters per 100 kilometers of active driving, and with a clogged filter, up to 18. On the highway, the consumption of a not-too-loaded car rarely exceeds 8.5 liters. When designing Jeep crossovers, the Americans were counting not so much on large middle-income families, but on young people and young retirees going on a patriotic journey around the country. Nevertheless, the distribution of space between the trunk and second-row passengers turned out to be quite balanced. Therefore, a short adult will fit in the back, and there is enough space for small suitcases. It is better not to get carried away with overloads, the suspension is not too hardy. Unlike Compass, there are no folding speakers in the trunk but there is a removable flashlight, the battery for which you will not find during the day with fire. Jeep crossovers before restyling in 2011 sold about three times worse than family SUVs, for example, the same Cherokee. Looking at the Patriot slash Liberty or Compass, buyers involuntarily ask themselves the question, maybe the Grand is better, even if it is a few years older, but still a real SUV. Well, this is fair, but only if you don't like the little Jeep unconditionally which after restyling is completely unsurprising. 